So when you first open Inkscape, it should look something like this. And in order for this to be most efficient, we should probably turn the page sideways. So in order to do that, we can just go to File, and Document Properties. And from Document Properties, um, which we could have done shift Control d in order to get to, as you see there at the very top, but we're going to change this to say that we want a letter, so US letter size. One of the European standards is A4, but we want letter. And we're going to put it in landscape mode. So now it's in landscape. And our default units um, could be the pixel, but I think it'll be more interesting if we use millimeters. So we'll change that to millimeters. You saw these numbers back here all automatically shifted, and we're ready to go. So let's close that down. Now, when you want to zoom in and out with Inkscape, just use your plus and your minus on your keyboard. Um, you'll notice that the plus sign is actually an equal sign, and uh, Inkscape is very kind about that. And also, if you have a mouse wheel, and you can scroll the mouse wheel, the mouse wheel will go side to side. And I'm trying to remember, oh, if you control mouse wheel, you zoom in and out. Uh, let me think. Shift mouse wheel goes side to side. Regular mouse wheel goes up and down. I might have said that wrong, but now you can see it yourself. Um, so feel free to go around and play. And you'll notice that these are our major buttons on the side here. Um, you've also got some other buttons over here, and there's probably a whole bunch of buttons on this side as well. So that's Inkscape. This is the Bezier Curve Tool, also known as the Pen Tool. And so if you click on the Bezier Curve Tool, what I want you to see is that you can just do four dots. Just click and move your mouse, click and move your mouse. Don't click and drag yet. That comes later. When you go back to the starting point, you'll see it sort of turns red. And when you click on it now, there's your object. And if you click on the black arrow, there's two different black arrows. You can see one is for editing the specific points and one is for editing the whole object. So here's my whole object. I can go down to any of these colors. I'm going to randomly choose dark green and say set fill or set stroke. Fill, obviously, fills the color in. Stroke, I just randomly, oops, sorry. There. Uh, stroke is the line around it. Now the line around this is really, really thin, but there's a button here um, where we can um, edit the colors and the gradients. It's also under Object, Fill, and Stroke. You see that the icon is the same. And in the Fill and Stroke window that comes up on the screen, over. There we go. So there's fill, there's stroke paint, which is the color, and then the stroke style. So the style is where we want to change. I'm just going to make it thicker here, and you can see, as I'm just going to hold that down, you can see it growing really fast. So that's the stroke right there, um, also known as the line, but they decided not to call it the line, so it wouldn't get confused with other, with other things. And a couple last notes about this just basic shape. If I click on it one more time, you'll see that I'm now in rotate mode, or I'm in skew and scale mode. Okay. So that's weirdness part one, and if I click back, you'll see the handles come out this way. So I can scale it this way, or I can skew it this way. I suppose that's more of just a stretch than a skew. This is a skew, so that's better. And then one last thing, if I double click on it, now you can see I've got each individual point. Um, usually, you don't actually double click on it. Usually, you would choose your object and then click the buttons over here to edit points. And then you can do that. Um, you'll see there that I can edit these points and drag them all around. However, then if I go back to regular mode, I'm still you're doing all this good stuff. So there's lots of different ways to edit it. And the most fun that you can have is, well, not the most fun you can have, but something that's really fun to do is if you choose one of these nodes, these dots are called nodes, make it highlighted, and then you can round it off. So there's two different choices for a round. Um, I like the one that looks like a bull with horns myself, um, because what happens with this is it's called smooth and symmetrical. And so as I pull one side out, the other side goes out the same. And if I spin it around, now I've got all the different possibilities. Now, the difference between symmetrical, try that again, and smooth, there's smooth, 
is that it's smooth, yes, if I move it around they go, but if I pull this one out and back, the other ones, the other side is not affected. Okay? Whereas with the bull with the horns, the symmetrical ones, both sides kind of do the same thing. Now, is it possible to make a corner? Why, yes it is. Thank you for asking. Here's your corner, and now I can pull one side and it has no effect whatsoever on the other. Okay? So right now, I'm just going to quickly highlight, click and drag over all of them, which highlights all four nodes. I'll make them all symmetrical, pull with the horns, click away so that nothing else is affected, and just bring this one back. So now I've got something that's roughly circular shape, when really I started out with a rectangle. So that's just some basic editing for using Inkscape.